So you you were talking about practice before. Got to ask you about Calvin in practice, just getting the mm-hmm. Hall of Fame. Obviously deserved first ballot, no doubt. Easily, what, no doubt. What, what was like? What was that like? Because you, he, you were the your first year there. He was already there, right? So you were lining up against him as a rookie. Yeah. So uh, at the time, so Jim Schwartz is my D coordinator. So uh, like, uh, they got it. They got it easy now. Then I had it uh, coming up into the league. So uh, I was on the first. I was on the first first team defense and first team scout team and when I was on scout team I had to uh, go against Calvin so I had got like maybe you know sometime practice be like eight reps per, per uh, group so I, I probably get the first four on scout team and then get ready for the first team on defense because I had I was on both so I had to be the guy that followed Calvin every day because he had guys that travel so I had to follow guys that travel every day and oh man he used to tear me up every day you know just go crazy like you know just you know but then I was a young boy I was a young buck but uh as I got older man uh man just like he he kind of made me who I am today man he was a great competitor he taught me as he was beating me with uh and um helped me become you know who I am did the offense ever just have a play call just throw that thing up to Calvin because at that uh, point that, that would have been in my playbook <laughs> That's every play shoot, honestly. <laughs> if it, no. if it's anything look like the play is gonna break down, let's throw it to Calvin. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll catch yeah. a triple team. I mean, I remember the Cowboys game when he caught it over. I virtually the entire Cowboys team. That was like one of the craziest catches I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, man. He he man. If he if he would play longer, he I mean easily he'd be known as the greatest receiver ever played the game. Yeah, it's not even close. You know, a uh, guy that big, that fast, that can stop on a dime, catching everything. No offense to Jerry Rice, but, you know, Jerry Rice still a GOAT. But Calvin to play 11 years, it would have been crazy. <laughs> the comparison's got to stop. I'm tired of the people comparing people to Megatron. Yeah, there's no comparison to that, you know. There's none. I mean, the closest – people say DK now just because of how big and how athletic yeah, and strong yeah. he is. I mean, you went up against DK this year. I I don't think DK's Megatron. I Oh well, well DK. I say what it is is that DK. You know he have, he is, he admire him, man. He's a he's a hell of a talent. Like he's a great talent, talented guy. But the thing I say about Calvin is, I say Calvin have legit hands. You know a lot of guys like I say like um like when I say that when I have hands, not to describe like not, not to talk about people talent, but uh like Hopkins have hands. He can catch with his hands. A lot of guys that's kind of good at receiver these days now don't catch with hands. Like I say for instance, like uh. Who I say that's real talented that just catches with his hands like is Antonio Brown. You know, he a hell big time body catcher. So, you know, I, not not taking nothing from him, like his talent or nothing, because when he get the ball in his hand, he go crazy. Just the fact that, you know, everybody he use hands catching in front of him. Um, it's not no body catching, it's it's really like all hands. And you know, and when you body catch, it's hard to get the ball out of your hands. So I ain't taking nothing from nobody, but Calvin had like legit hands and like he catch it any kind of way he wanted to catch it. 